YouTube, it's Sarah here with Crimson and Wool. You guys, I'm super excited. I have um, been wanting to customize my crochet hooks for so long or find someone that makes some covers or something. And I've looked all over Etsy and I've found certain things that I liked but I never loved. I ended up ordering something, not these, um, off of Etsy back in March, I got two hooks and they came in and they were just so heavy um, and I couldn't even work with them. Thankfully, I was able to get those returned. They were super awesome. But um, I actually saw a friend of mine who is a baker. She decorates cookies and makes the most amazing decorated cakes. She was making the scores or um, whatever it is that you poke the holes with um, in royal icing, she was making those and they had handles like this with like resin. And I was like, can you do that with my hooks? Please, can you do that? And she was able to. So um, I sent her over some of my hooks and this is what she did for me. And I mean, even right now looking at that, look how gorgeous those are. I... I, I'm obsessed, okay? For real, I'm so obsessed. This is my favorite one. I'm gonna be getting a four millimeter made in this style right here. Um, it is just so beautiful. Don't mind my quarantine nails, by the way. It is so gorgeous. I love the colors. Um, and so I got the C 2.5 millimeter. I also got a D 3.5. Sorry, this is a C 2.75 millimeter. This is a D 2.25 millimeter. And it has some of that glitter in there as well. It's like a cotton candy. Um, they're super smooth and they are not heavy at all. It, I mean, if it added any weight, it's not noticeable. At least not for me. And then two um, four millimeters and I'm getting three more made actually. Um, and so we have this one right here. This one's super glittery, super sparkly. Um, it just adds some just bling and some sparkle and just makes them gorgeous. It makes them even funner to work with because it isn't just the bamboo. It's just adding, um, just your unique style to it. And then, um, another four millimeter. And so if you could see there, it's like a white and pink marbled with some glitter these are just so, so beautiful. And I wanted just to hop on and do a quick video. If you guys wanted to get some of these made for yourself, I do have a code for you guys. Um, if you go to the description box, um, you will see a link to her Etsy shop as well as a code that you can use to get your own hooks right now. I mean, at least for the time being, I know she's only doing Susan Bates bamboo hooks. So if you are a Susan Bates um, if you like Susan Bates hooks, um, then I definitely would go ahead and head over to her Etsy shop. I did, these are, these were not like sponsored. Um, I did pay for these myself. I just love them so much. I wanted to share because I haven't seen anything else out there like this. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. And as more of them come in, I will share them and you'll probably see them in my videos now because I will be using these. This is the one that I've been using lately. It is um, Lydia's Edible Arts. I don't even think I've said that yet. Um, her Instagram is Lydia's Edible Arts. Her Etsy is Lydia's Edible Arts. And you could find all of that information in the description box below. Um, and then leave me a comment. Let me know what hooks that you guys use. Um, if you like the incline, if you don't like the incline, what hooks you guys like. Um, and then also let me know if you guys got some of these and tag me on Instagram as well as her because honestly, I haven't seen anything out there that has hooks like this. So again, thank you. This video was just a quick little video. I just wanted to share these amazing hooks with you guys. I hope that you guys are all doing okay um, during this quarantine time. Um, and I look forward to making more videos for you guys in the future. But with that, also, I look forward to crocheting with you again next time.